It is one of our state's iconic natural features, Cumberland Falls, the Niagara of the South. As spectacular as it is in the daytime, the falls puts on another show on clear nights during full moons. It's called the moonbow or lunar rainbow. And what happens is the mist that comes off the falls comes up and the light from the moon filters through and creates the moonbow. You can't see color in it usually until you develop your photograph, but then it has all the colors in it, the colors of a rainbow. The moonbow happens every month, usually for five days if the skies are open. Cumberland Falls is the only place in the Western Hemisphere where you can see a moonbow on a regular basis. Our falls are not artificially lit. We don't have lights on them in the evening to light them up like they do at Niagara Falls and at Yosemite Falls. Victoria Falls lost their moonbow when they had an earthquake. The rocks no longer support the falls in the same way so that when the light is filtered through the mist, it doesn't light it up as a moonbow any longer. Most people do not give themselves enough time here. They think that by looking at the schedule that we post, which is a window of opportunity, that they can come in those few short hours and get it. They need to come, they need to spend their weekend here or their week because it, it happens two days before a full moon, during and two days after the full moon, there's a likelihood of a moon bow. And if they would come and stay in the lodge or the surroundings, do our trails, enjoy everything that we have here, they'd have a much better trip, plus a, a more of a chance of getting the moon bow. This phenomenon draws expert photographers from all over the world. Charlie Baglin is a talented Kentucky photographer whose credits include this Kentucky nature plate based on one of his photographs of the falls. But it's the moonbow that brings Charlie back time after time. I've been doing it for a few years. To come down and see the moonbow, it's just a piece of magic that you don't get the privilege to do very often in life. And to come down and see it and be able to take it home on camera, and that's, that's a piece of work. Your best friend when you're photographing the moonbow is a tripod because the exposure to get the image properly couldn't be two, three, four minutes, depending on the camera. But there's no way to hand hold a shot for that long. So your, your, your tripod is really your best friend. It can really bring that exposure steadily. When you're taking a photograph at night, instantly you think, oh, it's dark. I'd better turn on the flash. That's not the way it is when you're photographing the moonbow. Because what you're doing is taking a photograph of light. If that's a candlelight, if that's a reflection, if you're taking a photograph of rays of light as they come through the, the branches early in the morning, any artificial light source is just going to wash it out. The same thing with a flash on your camera. It's going to leave you with a picture of what looks like uh, fog, and that's the mist coming out of the plunge basin of the falls. Steve Schaefer makes his living as a professional photographer. His career took him from newspaper photojournalist to KET as the staff photographer. What I use at the Moonbow is um, usually a digital SLR, um, always on a tripod, um, usually really slow shutter speeds. My settings usually stay pretty consistent. Uh, with the cameras I have, they're usually pretty sensitive, and I keep the ISO or the film speed 
usually a 400 ASA or 640, 640 ASA. Uh, usually I can get a 30 second exposure at F4, F4, 5, 5, 6. It will change a little bit from trip to trip, just depending on how bright the moon is. Um, but in that ballpark is usually where, where I stick and I've gotten pretty good results so far. This is my, this year, this is my fourth or fifth trip down here to, to see the moon bow. It's always a pretty cool trip. I mean, it's, there's always lots of nice people. There's always people who've never seen it before, which is really cool to talk to those people. I've been going to the falls as far back as I can remember, never tiring of the scenery here. For me and countless others, it's a place where lifelong memories are made, either by day or night.